Uh, welcome to the SatFi demo. I'm in my uh, vehicle in between Houston and uh, New Orleans somewhere. Uh, it's me and uh, the beans, my dog. And uh, we're going to do a demonstration um, of the SatFi device on Yippee software. So right now I'm showing pings currently on the screen where it's saying destination is uh, unreachable, which is we're trying to ping a certain web address that's not allowing us to uh, be there because we're not connected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and connect us. We're looking for Global Star signal and it's authenticating the signal and it's making sure that we're supposed to be there giving us a handshake and it says we're good and as you can see on the screen we've just now started pinging so we know that we're connected as you can see the screen changing and now I know that I'm on the internet or have access to the internet so I'm going to minimize this and I'm going to go ahead and open up my Yippee browser which is um, just a skinny browser and I'm going to close the pings as you can see we're still connected and I'm not going to log in because I'm in the car I'm just going to use one hand and go with a guest account so this is going to send me to a search box search page that's going to allow me to um, access my personal data as well as any internet website. So I'm going to want to access Fox News. And I'm going to make a search. Now realizing that everything we're doing now is at about 5.75 kilobits per second. And there's my search results came up nice and clean and uh, there's Fox News. Now I can click the normal search result like you would if you were using Google or on a terrestrial high-speed internet access but we're not doing that right now. We're actually in a vehicle where there's no internet connection in the middle of nowhere and uh, we're connected through our SatFi device from Global Star. Um, so I'm not going to click the heavy version, the one that has all the ads and uh, you know all of the colors and the tr traditional website from Fox News. What I'm going to do is I'm going to ask Yippee to do it for me. And I'm going to click Yippee version of that, and that's pretty quick. There's the website uh, from Fox News, and there is the all the stories that are on the front of it. Let's say here, I don't know, I want to see this... Pentagon readying plan to lift military transgender ban. <laughs> okay, whatever. <laughs> wow. What a story to pick, huh? So I'm going to pick that story and say, that's the one I want to read about. And Yippee will go out and retrieve that story for me nearly instantaneously at 5.6 kilobits. And there's the story. Now, of course, I really didn't want to read that story. Uh, so I'm going to go over here and I want to see this Obama commute sentences of prisoners. So I'm going to say, well, that's an interesting story. I want to read that one next. So I make the click. Yippee does the processing. Depending on the size of the page, it can take anywhere from half a second to two seconds uh, for us to reorganize the page. So that's all your drop-down menus, and there's your Obama story. So this, this little demo demonstrates our ability to not only um, bring Internet and internet usage to anyone in the world that's in range of Global Star's network. But this is also a fully and highly mobile platform. So for Mariners, excuse me while I'm pulling back on the highway here, for Mariners, you know, it's uh, it's definitely something that uh, could be usable on ships. Um, this platform loves open sky. And for two thirds of the earth, You've got pretty much nothing but open sky. I haven't seen any third world countries with, with mega skyscrapers that don't have internet access. So um, I believe that this solution will play a pivotal role in the communication of the unconnected world, which is approximately two thirds of the world. Now, I want to let you, see you guys see this while I'm driving. I'm coming up on the expressway, so I'm not going to kill anybody. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to check another story here while I'm moving down the road and I say, well, let me click this one here. Opa. Figure confusion reigns. So if I'm riding in the vehicle, businessman, international travel, I can continue searching the internet on the move as you saw the story change 
and this gives me what I'm truly looking for, which is a ubiquitous connection, a highly secure connection, and one that only I know about. This is a pseudo point-to-point -point, uh, with a highly secure platform running on the Yippie E360 platform. Um, I'm going to try another search here. While I'm sitting nice and slowly at 62 miles an hour behind a semi. And um, I want to see if I can find the Facebook page. Let's see where Facebook is here. I don't want to crash while I'm driving. I shouldn't even be doing this, but whatever. I just wanted you all to see that this thing works. Here, I'm going to click this Obama. Oh, I'm going to Obama. Official Pentagon trans. Oh, that's the same one we saw before. That one's crazy. Here we go. Something about taxpayers paying $3.5 million or something we didn't want. Let's click that one. While we're going down the road, and there's our stories loaded for us, and I will scan down with one hand while driving my car. And there's your story. So, long and the short of it, Yippie Global Star can provide the first world, first world internet to third world countries and we can do it rather efficiently and we can do it in a platform what we call internet 2 which is a skinny internet that only allows the data that the user wants and requests to be in uh, the screen all right so that's a little show and tell say hi to beans she's uh she's getting a little antsy looking at her daddy so we're gonna cut it off here thanks for watching